Well, howdy guys. Thought I'd do another video. So, <clears throat> what I was thinking about was what the cross is like and what what Jesus did for us. And what it's like is, you know, back in the day, they had these executions, right? Where they called it the firing line. And you would stand there and you would get shot and they would kill you most of the time. Um, this is what Jesus did. He took the bullet for us because God's so holy and perfect. He's so wonderful. He deserves perfection. And you and me, we can't achieve that. Okay, there's some people that, you know, they just want to follow the law. You can't do it. It's nearly impossible. Okay. Because the way that the law works is if you mess up one thing, you're guilty of the whole thing. Jesus never messed up. And that's why he's a fitting sacrifice. Because without shedding of blood, there's no atonement of sin. In the spiritual world, blood is required. And our blood, regular people, their blood is death. That's what dwells within us is death because of Adam and Eve and then being deceived and not believing. They are in transgression and death. That's why we have to eat food, drink water, breathe air. We have to work. We have to do all sorts of things to maintain our heartbeat and our living capability. That's why we need to renew our relationship with Jesus every day is because we are in a place of spiritual death and he is the one with life. He's got all the juice and he'll let you have it if you worship him and serve him because we're made in his image. He is the most powerful being in the entire of creation. And you can be too if you choose to serve him. See, the thing is, is the people in control, they know this and they fear a true believer. So I proposition or I put forth that you should be one, a true believer, and they will fear you. So open up your mouth, tell people the good news and share good things. Because out of the mouth is what comes from the heart. And that's where your treasure is. You all guys are my treasure. I don't care about material possessions and money and things like that. I care about y'all getting the good water, the living water and the living bread. And that's why I do this. So God bless you and your family. Turn to Jesus while there's still time.